Legend Total War here, and today we're starting a new campaign series for Thrones of Britannia Total War Saga. So I picked up this game, it was 33% off. I thought, screw it, I'll give it another chance. Um, I wrote this game off about six months ago because I really didn't like it. So I'm going to give it another chance now and we'll see how we go. Now, this series will be pre recorded because I want to release this at the same time of a, as a review. So. If you watch the review first, understand that it'll actually be recorded after I record this campaign. Because I want to I want to give this campaign a try. See if the same silly bugs and poor strategies are still still in play in the game. And then, you know, make give it another, you know, fair chance and then do another review on it. Alright, so I decided to just jump in on the the hardest campaign, because I when I played it last time it was it was just too easy. Uh, so I'm going to play as Northumbra on the hardest difficulty. Now, I went and had a look through all of them. It we says that hard is the hardest I can get. For the glory of the Cymru, the men are eager to get to it. Our foes shall fall! Enemy blood will flow! No one's ranked as very hard. So the big problem here is disloyal characters. Now, I've been keeping an eye on the reviews over the course of the few past few months it seems like part of the problem that people have with this game now is basically it's a civil war simulator so I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this this is apparently you know this faction here has disloyal characters as a faction trait so we'll see how we go with that and uh, let's just play the game and see how it compares to other total war games I want to you know give it a fair chance See if it can impress me, because people are here. Give it another chance. So that's what I'm doing. Ragnar died here, killed by an English king. How fitting that we now rule his lands. For ten years, the great army ravaged England. Before we settled the conquered lands of Northumbria, we have carved out a kingdom of our own on an understanding between Viking and English. But it is a fragile alliance, requiring the right king to lead it. If we remain strong, all of England lies open before us. If not, we will follow Ragnar to his grave. No one knows. Nope. Okay. So, let's have a look at the issues here. Seems like we're making decent coin, we've got a bit of food. Um, this province is low public order, low public order, okay. And we have uh, loyalty issues, this is to be expected I suppose. Uh, it just says difficulty minus one because we are playing a legendary. Uh, difficulty minus one. This guy's got zero loyalty because because he's more influential than the ruler. Uh, okay. Let's see what else is going on. What's our diplomatic situation? I didn't really play as Northumbra uh, when I had early access to it. I played as... Um, I played as Sidreya, then I played as Diflin, and then I played as um, Wessex. And I found them all to be cakewalks. Um... So a diplomatic situation is that we have two vassals. I don't like vassals personally, but which ones are those? So there's, these guys over here are vassals. We also have a rebellion going on. Okay. We will bring you glory. All right. Looks like we just we got to go into this battle here. We cannot. Six we versus six. All right. Seems fair. I might just adjust the audio a little bit. It just seems a little bit loud. I don't want to. I don't want you guys to not be able to hear what I'm saying. Mm, that didn't seem to do much. Oh, that's the voice chat. What am I doing? Okay. 
Okay, that's better. General's bodyguard, spear, axe to have. Okay, I just prefer no weather effects, and that gives the AI advantages to suit its visibility. Okay. All right, I got an idea. These guys can all use uh, Shield Castle. Let's see if the AI will just let, just basically, just shoot into a Shield Castle. Okay, you can see the cavalry over there. So let's see how intelligent this AI is. Because like this game is like directly built. This is basically Total War Attila that we're playing here. And one thing that I would do in Total War Attila is go into Testudo, which this is more or less, and waste enemy archer ammunition. Since they've got... They've only got skirmish superiority because it's on legendary difficulty, so we need to eliminate that. Once they're out of ammunition, they're, you know, useless. So let's quickly get into this position here, and then shield castle. We'll see how much damage gets done. So I'm assuming they're more or less the same as what we've got here. What are they called? Yeah, coral archers. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. They've got uh, 14 ammunition. So, you know, A grade AI right here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to be any different um, than Total War Tiller. But it's, that's whatever. Honestly, this is the, this is kind of stuff. I'm not really too pissed. I wouldn't be too, too pissed off about this. I don't know why they uh, lowered the numbers of um, archers, like half that half numbers of of axes or, or the, of melee troops. It makes them less less effective. Might have been better to put the kill spearmen up front. Let them get shot because they're of less value than the thanes. Okay, this the the cavalry's there, so we need to make sure that the spears are on the side. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We're almost out of ammo. Alright. Cool. Now that they're out of ammo, we can now move our archers up without having to worry about being shot in return. Okay, hang on, slow down, slow down. So already our shots have done just a, almost as much damage as theirs. Okay, brace. They're bringing their archers into melee. Okay, fantastic AI right here. You come up this way, you want to try and shoot him in the flank. You just make sure they don't break over the line as long as possible. Be careful, because if these guys decide to come out this way, that's going to be a problem. Oh, 
Our general is under attack. It's okay. I know he can't die until he's taken a certain amount of damage. I can't remember how much it is. But these scout horsemen shouldn't shouldn't be able to do very much to us. Make sure those those scout horsemen don't come back. Clearly won the battle, so we don't have to worry about that. Just trying to get a feel of which units do really well and which ones suck. So, even though I'm shooting right into their backs, these archers aren't doing a whole lot, so I probably won't be hiring a whole lot of that. Because this, this is like the ideal situation for them to be shooting, and they're really not getting many kills. These axemen seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I don't have any cavalry, so we gotta... I mean, we could possibly chase after them, I don't know. I don't usually like using infantry for chasing down enemy units. I think it's very effective. Actually, it could be good to get a second battle out of them, so we'll end it there. Because we want to get Gotham as much experience as possible. I'm gonna take a ransom. Let's go. Enemy blood will flow. All right, let's see how the order resolve goes. Okay, I wasn't expecting that much difference, and that's fine because considering how weak they were, that's fine. So that's the blood stuff. Eh, whatever. Feels just like Total War 2 though. My warriors are ready. Okay, so Gutsum got himself a level up. Let's have a look here. So I it's best I think to look ahead and plan ahead at how you're gonna level up your generals. Now he clearly does need some more influence. But there's other ways for us to get it, if I believe right. Okay, so champions give him extra command. What does command do? Gives him Abilities. I don't know what metal does, but rally 
whatever. Extra size for the bodyguard so we can go up to, what, 200, I guess? Enables night battles, unit morale. It's not bad. Let's see what else there is. Because we only get we only get 10 points to distribute. I think the final level you get 2 points. Unless they've changed that. Uh, scribe is for governors. Bard is for replenishment. Fame, zeal. So what does zeal do? Uh, public order, local province. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me see what else there is. Forager, extra food production. It's pretty good. Immune to snow attrition. That's... That's pretty damn good. Um, Pillager. Not really my style. Even though I'm playing as a Viking Horde, I'm just not really big on pillaging. Quartermaster. Campaign movement range. Reduced upkeep cost. Yeah. Priest is for faction allegiance. Uh, reduced enemy campaign movement range. That's weird. Um, enemy local attrition. But just because of the... Oh, that's weird. And loyalty. Okay. And then Siege Engineer. Yeah, I probably don't need that. Probably leaning towards either Quartermaster or Bard. I mean, the Replenishment still would certainly be useful. And his presence would help public order in local regions. But the extra campaign movement range might be more useful at this stage here. We do really need to get around, so we're going to go with Quartermaster. We'll right. see that through. So we've got another general down here. Alright, we gotta fix this loyalty. So, what can we do? We can hold a feast, because part of the problem is his lack of influence. Or we can one, two, three, fix up these individually. So, how much is that gonna cost us? 800 plus 700, so that's 1500 plus 850. Alright. Made it. More influential than the ruler. If we do this, we it costs us two thousand, and we reduce our food production faction wide, while the cooldown is active. But I don't know how long it actually holds on his onto his um influence. I hope it's permanent. Otherwise, that's that's a lot of money for. All right, I'm gonna go with the hold feast. Yeah. Let's go with more mead. Okay. And we just got... Uh, should we get... These two guys here aren't impressed. So I still need to do more to fix that. It's very important that we don't have a civil war. I mean, we start off with a lot of money. We're not making bad cash, so... It doesn't seem so bad. Let's secure his loyalty. Really offended. Oh shit. I don't want to lose his loyalty, his influence, but we got to get this guy under control and that will provide more. I don't think royally offended is a good trait to have. Now we've caused problems with him, but he's at two. Oh, you f fucking bloody piece of shit. I could see why people don't like this. Alright, so that just worked. And now, I've used up all of my money just trying to get their loyalty, but our income's not bad, and I don't think we need to construct anything. Alright. So we still got still got some food coming in. Alright. Alright, let's have a look to our neighbours. Maybe there'll be some territory we can snatch off them to get extra food and finances. Um, let's have a look at the political situation. We got these guys here, they got three, looks like, minor settlements. These guys here are vassals. We've got, I don't want to go down too far south right now. Uh, let's have a look at those of them that hate us, because they're most likely to declare war on us, so better to be the attacker than the defender. Alright, so we got West Moringus and North Lode. These guys have more territory. I'd say go for these guys, because they'd, they'd be an easy punching bag. So, we'll start making our way over here. And see if we can... We can smash him. So yeah, we've still got one loyalty issue. I'll try next turn to, to fix that up. 
but we we've, we've used up all of his his damn influence in trying to fix that. So that that really sucked. That was that was not cool. Moving on. Imagine that turn one civil war. My prowess increases. What the fuck? Whatever. Some more disloyalty. Um, this guy is at zero. He's more influential than the ruler again. We could try to lower his influence, but I imagine this will have repercussions. Um, this is probably... Actually, that's, that's not so bad. Okay, that sorted out a little bit. They, they've still got problems, but they're not at zero. Now, I don't know if they can cause civil wars when they're just at low loyalty or whether it has to go down to zero. I'm assuming it has to go down to zero because that's how it works in Total War Tiller, but I don't know. Um, okay, so we've got this guy here get a level up. Who's this? Is governor. Um, he's, he's okay. So, some of the governors, it might be good to level them up with, with priest because it increases their loyalty, but you're okay. So let's sort you out with a scribe. So we got bad public order here. It's not that bad though. So he's just went and hired a bunch of units. So we'll get these guys to meet up shortly. I can recruit one additional unit. Let me just see if I can increase my tax rate, how much extra food I'd get out of that. Because I think they're, they're getting ready for us. I think it'd also be best if we hit these guys nice and early. So these ones here will be bad public order, but it, like I don't really care too much about this region. What's it doing? Yeah. Okay, and we got plenty of food and a bit of extra cash. We should hire some more units. Alright. Like I said, not too keen on these guys, but I'm not going to disband them. Um, we've got a good amount of income. So, a sword herdman doesn't seem too bad. The See, these guys here, they're good and everything, but they're really vulnerable to missiles. I think shields are very important for this time period. And also, they're just way cheaper. And we saw that the... These guys here in the previous battle did they they pulled their way. Hang on, hang on, that's too but let's just leave it at that. That way I've still got some food reserves. Okay. Now if we pull our forces together before they manage to hire any more units, we should be able to get them. Uh, I don't have any more money for anything else. Um, all right, moving on. Okay. Uh, what what are we looking at here? We got aggressor East Angle defending attack. So what are they doing? Defending one attacking one of my vassals. Um, I don't like vassals, so piss off. I'm not helping them. Now that probably lowered my reliability, but we'll suffer it now, and we'll be fine later on. I absolutely hate vassals, they just drag you into loads of wars. I remember when I was playing as Sidreya, um, you start off with an alliance, and the first thing I did was just was like, this guy is just dragging me into so many shitty wars, and I just cancelled it, and my everything was fine after that. So let's have a look at our reliability now, it's probably been affected, yeah, untrustworthy. I've still got one vassal, but what can I say? I, I just, I don't want him. I don't want him. Okay, so I think he merged some of those units. Okay, he can't quite make it here yet. And also, he's not going to get any replenishment while he's here. Alright, get your ass over here. Ready for battle. 
You guys stay together. We know he can't reach this, and if he does reach it, then it's just a death sentence for him anyway. Now we got some money. Okay, let's check this stuff again. I really do want to get this, this crap sorted. So his problem is also more influential than the ruler, so we'll try and lower his influence. Money's fine, whatever. Okay, so it's just Carl now. So as soon as he levels up, we'll get him a priest, and that should sort it out. Hopefully we can try and have a civil war between now and then. Um... This guy here's got pretty low loyalty, so in case, you know, shit hits the fan again, let's sort that out. And I don't have enough money now to purchase anything, which of course I'm going to want food. Because our money's okay. Seems like you can still just, like, hire one general's bodyguard and just capture... Minor settlements as you see fit, which is, you know, it's just so stupid. Ring will march against you. All right. Well, forget about this war now. We we have to march north. Of course, you have no no means to defend your settlements. What did you sack it? Yeah. Okay, well, that buys us some time at the very least. We've got to get over there. Luckily, these two here don't provide food. They just provide money. Oh, he dragged them in as well. Oh, you dirty bastard. We should probably sort this guy out first. We'll see this through. Because I can't, I can't split my forces up. I gotta do. I, if I go up it this way, he's gonna annoy us down the south, and we can easily take him out. Um, what I could do is send just one general around up here to just go and take, take out things. Impossible. All right, let's hire another general here. Uh, let's see. Alright, we'll go with go with go with this guy here because he's younger. You can rely on us. Okay. If he attacks, Soon, as long as we're not sitting in there, we he could always withdraw, so that's not so bad. He shouldn't be able to catch us. It looks to me like they're gonna go here. Marching formation. You can rely on us. Hurry along. Doesn't have a force march mechanic. Ready for combat! So, we still got disloyalty problems. So what's what's your problem now? Because of faction and officers. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, it might be because of... Yeah, it's because of this. Alright, well. I just have to put up with it. Alright, I don't have enough food or anything. Uh, let's see. Now, this actually lowers our income, but I could really use the additional food, because I'm going to need more units. So, let's do that. So, I actually do hope that they go back to the settlement there, so I can just kill him. Obviously, I'm not fighting that. Pull back, man! Fall back. So yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of time to prepare, uh, to prepare for this, did I? So this actually makes it more expensive for my army, but it increases unit morale. If I go down this way, it's better for diplomacy. So I'm going to go head towards here, King England. Um, 
yeah, reducing his influence for, um... I'll just do that. I don't want to kill him. By no means. Okay, so we can reach here. Or we can Not kill him option. now. So looking at you. So they, they still sacked that city. Yeah, if you go up this way, you're doomed. You're going to have to go around up through here and go and occupy their settlements up this way. I think it'd be best if we kill him, because then they'll have no resistance after that. In fact, what we should do is hire another general here to send him up this way. Just, just go and occupy all their territory really quickly. Uh, this one here will do. So he's another disloyal turd. Too great a Come on. We will serve. Move up. We serve to the end. March on. Good. That, that's basically GG for him. He's we will out. bring fear. Onward to glory. Now let's see how the order resolve performs. Yeah, so they haven't fixed this at all. You can basically order resolve every battle. That's, you know, mildly in your favor. Um, that's not a whole lot of money. We do need replenishment. We've got to keep on the move. Enemy blood wolf blood. Now, we could get a peace treaty with them. But since they have no army, we should just take him out. We pledge your service. To greater plunder. We cannot. My warriors are ready. Eager and willing. So they're just they're just looting and pillaging there. It's it's barely even impacted on my income that much, so no big deal. Okay. Alright, we got a governor here. Okay, so he definitely needs a priest. And that sorted him out. That's good. He's alright, but he he we should try to get him to like four or five. Keep it safe. We will bring you glory. So for Guthrum. Kind of silly how it's got loyalty there. Maybe you should have influence for him, but whatever. Um, what about Bard? No, no, he, he definitely needs to be able to move around faster. Granny arm. Sorry, Gammy arm, right. And this guy here is at three. This is one of the generals. He's, he's alright. So let's go with Quartermaster for him. Because don't forget, next turn we'll, we'll be... We'll get rid of that upset populist crap. So I want him to go down there, fight there, and I want Guthrum to fight the, who, who's this here, North Lord, or whatever it's called. But he's going to need more troops, so if I, can only, I can only afford one more unit. Heading out. Two ter three turns until that finishes. We'll see this through. He's not going to deal with this turn. Glory us. All right, still got a little bit of cash. Let's just make sure it's okay. Yeah, they're at one. It's not okay. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, moving on. Okay, so they've occupied both of my settlements there, but that's just money. That's all I lost there. It's okay, we're quite wealthy. And they look like they've actually recruited some new units as well. Okay, it's so two. No, no major issues there. So, they've recruited a new general, but he'll be, he'll only be at partial strength. Unless he hires like eight units, we should be able to beat him next turn. So I guess we'll see. 
So yeah, they've hired like crazy. You're gonna go around their back. Advancement. And capture there, because it's undefended. Might sack it as well, we'll see how we go. You stay here, prepare the defenses. And we'll finish these guys off. Alright, like I said before, I can hire one unit. Just one. What should it be? Axemen. We're playing as, as, as Vikings, we need axes. I definitely don't want to go below this. We've got allies coming up this way. They may or may not help. We'll see. And once you're done here, you can start moving up this way. Obviously, just avoid avoid the major cities for the time being. Take out the minor ones first. Alright, let's move on. I, I don't get it. Why would why would I care if this guy has influence or not? I, I don't know. It just seemed weird. We'll Alright, let's suck it and then occupy it. In Odin's name. Let's reduce the money. And if it causes a revolt, so be it. Actually, if it causes a revolt, don't stay in the region because you won't be able to survive. Um. Okay, we got some more food, so we can justify some more troops in this army here. Let's get some more axes. My warriors are ready. We will. In Odin's name. We will bring you glory. Yeah, as long as we stay away from those armies there, it should be fine. If I go over there and attack that, I'll probably lose, so let's just hold off for the time being. Yeah, now you gotta combine your forces, try to find your way. Actually, no, stay there, get more replenishment. Take this out, finish them off, and then we can come up this way. Probably could hire another general to come up here and, t and capture this. What's their upkeep costs? Yeah, it's not so bad. It's worth it. Alright, I'll do that. This guy's already got... He's already been hired. Is that one of my sons? I think it's one of my sons. Let me just check that, actually. Ah, wrong thing. Where is it? Yeah, so my son here, estates low. Ah, so I picked up a bunch of estates. Okay. So let's have a look at how estates. So estates now actually give influence. Uh, the, well, the agricultural and noble ones do. But giving estates away costs you money. I don't get it. Why would they put in a mechanic that's actually like bad for you to even utilize? Like creating new estates is bad. It just doesn't make sense. Alright, so that is a... They're all agricultural estates. It's just extra influence for him. We need to give at least one of them away. Give it to someone who has got the least loyalty. Uh, give it to Carl. Actually, he's got loads of influence. We should give it to someone who has no influence, like Oswald. And then it's all sorted. So yeah, there's still two, but you know, we're working on that. Can I do some technology yet? Need to build a water mill. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, I think I'm building the granary, right? Yeah, so once that's built, I might be able to do we'll some research. 
So what's the public order in this province? Minus 16. May or may not cause a revolt, I guess time will tell. Alright, let's move on. Because it doesn't work like the Total War Tiller in that, you know, you go to minus 100 and then it's definitely a revolt. It's just a chance that it may revolt. So you can have it at minus 50 and it may not revolt. But a settlement with like minus 5 may very well revolt. You're a fucking a hole. Okay, so. I'm just wondering if we should go out and fight them now. It says that bouncer power is like pretty much. pretty much even. I got forces from here coming in as well. We come in as reinforcements. Let's see, I've got. Uh, 10. Plus nine, so I've got I've got a full stack to my control. But this guy here is dead. Just forget about him. They're damaged. They may very well besiege the settlement. And that's fine if they did. I could always just decide not to attack them. It's just as risky to go and fight them right now. But we know that they're idiots. Well, they're idiots in defense, not necessarily in attack. They're on the attack right now. I say let's just go go for it and let's do this. Yeah. Cause like in terms of army composition, I think we're okay. Wish I could tell my ally to like pull back from there. Don't be an idiot. The enemy has reinforcements. Battle orders. Our traitorous countrymen are on the march. Come to me. Come to me. I can't tell them. It's just, we're just gonna have to put up with the fact that they're going to die. Rushing over to them would just be pointless. Agreed. I gotta get reorganized. Alright, these are my generals. It will be, done. be hard to tell which are garrison units and which are army troops. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, we got some javelin men. I hate javelin men. So, spears will make up the flanks, of course. And these guys will make the up the bad guys. Our ally. Uh, and our ally can suck a fucking Viking nutsack. I don't give a shit about them. Morons going up ahead like that. Good, we got set up. Now they do have cavalry. So, uh, actually, it would be good if we could fight this first. Shit, what the hell? Fight the first army before the the rest of their forces show up, but they are on their way. Or at least get you know get started on it. Alright, you go up front. 
I think we've got skirmish superiority at the moment, but pull them back should things go sour. No loose formation? No. Alright, I turned them off fire at will. Whoops. Uh, it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Careful where you fire, because I'm sure it's got total artillery level friendly fire. Okay, pull them back because they're not winning the skirmish. He's in, he's in Shield Castle, he'll be okay. Okay, their cavalry has almost been wiped out. In their ammo at the moment. It's enemy general. All right, let's start swinging around the side here and try to snipe him. Let's get into a position where he can get shot really easily. Yeah, yeah, if you guys could run these guys down so that, that my archers can get around here, that would be dandy. Right, I want you to pull out, start wrapping around, get them at the get them at the rear. So run off their archers for the time being. Pretty good. My missile units have done jack shit on this, but I wasn't relying on them. Okay, we don't need to worry about shield cast for them anymore, coming in closer. Superior 
Okay. So yeah, luring away their archers there seemed to work out pretty well. This group of guys here again absolutely wrecked. Make sure you kill every last one of them, because otherwise you have to fight them again. Oh, they're out of ammo. Good. The enemy general is dead! Alright, they're falling out to pieces now. Wasn't a great victory, but I don't think we lost any units, and it does look like they've taken a fair beating. We're never going to catch any of them. And also, if they don't manage to retreat back to their home territory, then they don't get any replenishment, but we do. So yeah, a few guys are getting run down here. It's good to see. Okay, get these guys to all stop firing. With speed, warriors! Ronda, glory and plunder! Okay, yeah, we didn't lose any units. 9% replenishment. we got to keep in mind he doesn't come with us. But they've only got 5 units left, so we're in excellent shape to pursue them and finish them off. Okay, so those guys will get a little bit of replenishment. And they recruit a few more. But that's okay, we're in position now that we can push forward. He's a governor. He's rank two. I don't want to kill him. Corruption is not that big of a deal right now, I think. Yeah, see, I didn't even notice it. I, like I said, I don't want him dead. We'll see this through. Bring that. Can't be done. Moving out. Smash them. Out. And this is where that extra fall. movement range comes in handy. No need to sack it. These are originally our territory, and then we just move our way through. Ready for combat. March on. And they're probably wanting a peace treaty, but I'll we should gra sure. just gobble up as much territory as we can in the meantime. So we'll take a little bit of attrition going up this way, but. Let's go! Don't worry about it. Enemy blood will flow. Massacre them. Fit and ready. Slow speed for docking. Massacre them. Okay, so we got to level up for Guthrid. He needs more quartermaster. Okay. We have, uh, I think, two general. Yeah, two generals here that have bad public order, ah, uh, public loyalty. Let's 
He's got no influence. We got eight influence. That's pretty good. How did we get that influence, anyway? Eh, I don't know. I've got some money, so let's increase loyalty. Well, what's this trait supposed to mean? It doesn't tell me what it does. I don't want to lose any more influence, so I'll pay the bribe. And I guess that sorted him out. I just don't know what that trait did. It seems like it sorts it out. Because he's... It, it, it must provide him with two loyalty. Fine. That's all I want. Cool. Now... We pledge your service. Yep, that's fine. Now we can research tech. Good. This will unlock certain uh, buildings. Fine, whatever. Okay, we're looking pretty good for food. Now we can probably justify dropping the tax back down. I prefer to keep it at normal. What is this? Oh, yeah. So this here doesn't cost that much to... Just provides cloth and a tiny little bit of income. I would like to upgrade this settlement and upgrade that. And all my money is spent. You can rely on us. To war we go. So yeah, I say we take a bit of these territories up this way. Not all of them. Take a bit and then peace out with them. Oh, you better not fucking take anything. Bitch, you go home. You're you're damaged. You damaged goods. Uh, okay, now they've recruited a whole bunch of units. It could be could be tricky to fight them now. I mean, I could just hire a bunch of troops myself, get them up to scratch. Whatever. No concern of mine. Impossible. We'll see this through. We cannot. Ready for battle! Our foes shall fall. Nah, that's not gonna work for us. You're gonna need to recruit some more units. And as for you, I'm done with you now. For the time being. Enemy blood Just use generals to go around capturing settlements and sacking shit. So yeah, that's all I want him to, want him to do. Us is the air. Cool. Happy had fun. And it'll repair on its own over time. Enemy blood will flow. Thunder and glory. Hard. I am. Don't know if I'm done with you yet. My warriors are ready. Thunder and glory. Yes. Okay, the whole province is secured, but we don't issue any edicts or anything like that. We've got them by the balls over here, but I kind of need more troops here. I mean, we've got the food and the money now. So, oh yeah, so let's recruit. What do I need? The archers have proven not to be very effective, so we won't get any more of them right now. I don't think cavalry is particularly useful in this except for running enemy units down. Or, and getting rid of the archers. As soon as he leaves this area, we can smash him. We will bring you glory. Yeah. Alright, everything else seems fine. Let's see if there's anything to construct. 
So again, this stuff here will repair on its own over time. How's the public order? It's stable. Upgrading this will provide public order and a little bit of money. Alright, get that. That provides... Yeah, yeah, okay. Moving on. Oh, shit. I didn't see the loyalty thing. Because we, we took a settlement and would have gained an estate. I gotta, I gotta remember to keep an eye on that. Okay, luckily, luckily I didn't have any problems, but I really need to watch out with that shit. Okay, so whoever's got low influence, I don't know, looking for estates. Low, this guy here's got fairly low influence. Let's give him, give him that, doesn't, doesn't really matter. And that sorted it out, okay. So this governor here, his loyalty is fine, so pop in a scribe. This general, his loyalty is also fine, pop him in as a quartermaster. We pledge our service. We will serve. I don't think I'm gonna need you anymore. For the time being, at least. Our foes will suffer! Now, if he captures any of these settlements here, it's a death sentence, so that's up to him if he wants to do it. Ready for combat. Rest and regroup. If we capture this, he'll he'll then take attrition, I believe. Thunder and glory. I'm not gonna sack it. For glory. So we gained another estate. Which I really, I just don't like the estate mechanic. I just don't like it. I don't think they've made any real improvements to this. I don't know, maybe, well, we'll keep seeing, but at this stage here, I just, I don't get it. Like, it's, a, it's just, it's just like, it's, just, it's a waste of time. That's all it is. It's like if you if you removed the estate mechanic from the game, it plays the fucking same. It's, like, it's just literally just a waste of time. It's like a hey, don't forget to tie your shoelaces before you fucking put on your shoes. It's, I'm not saying that's a waste of time. I don't know. I, I couldn't come up with a better analogy. Um, it's just not good. All right, so they're probably taking attrition. Let's get another one of these spears into that army. We'll see this through. Okay, I got no money now. All right, moving on. Like, it seems to me like the more estates you have, the, the worse it is. Alright, so let's once again see how Order Resolve performs. It's in my favour, do I need to fight the battle? So, we won, but how much damage should we take? Nothing really, because no units were wiped out. I probably couldn't have done a better job myself. So they haven't fixed the order resort, but it was one of the key things I mentioned when I sent an email to them. They haven't put one bit of effort into that at all. Like, I should have had, I should have, for order resolving this, had one or two units nuked. That's what should have happened. So that faction's now dead. Oh, they're bringing in a big army down this way.
I wasn't paying attention to the missions. But extra influence for Guthrum. That's good. Our foes shall fall. His loyalty is good, so give him another quartermaster. Our foes shall fall. Plunder and glory. I know them name. Easy win. Let's go. You can rely on us. Okay, so I can get there. Enemy blood will flow. But I kind of wanted to come here. Because I think we need to deal with... Let me let me get into diplomacy. I have two enemies. These western-ass wankers, they need to go May away. My misgivings at your visit prove Wait, what? Are they a vassal? Oh, they're a vassal kingdom. Right. Alright. So that means we've... Impossible. He's not going to get there this turn. Because I, I wouldn't be able to beat him. We will bring you glory. Show us mm. the Alright, I'd say we snatch this and then try to get a peace treaty with them. We can just go to war with them after we've consolidated the, some stuff. You are here now, so speak your Okay, they don't want it. What if I was to pay you money? That you sue. All right. Offer them a custom one. One thousand two hundred. That's not much to me. So they consider that intriguing. Drop it up. Up. Increase it to fourteen hundred. They say that's sufficient. I suppose there may be some wisdom in this. Well, we... We got profit out of this. We gained four territory... Hang on, three territories from them. And we took out this faction... No, no we gained four territory from them. And three over here. So that was good. Now let's consolidate it for a little while. Now, I don't have that much money coming in. Um, there's no war exhaustion. What happened to that? Did they take it out? Why would they take that out? That was actually good. I don't get it. Why would they take that out of the game? That's that's losing them points. I just I don't get it. Why'd they take it out? Alright, whatever. I can sit here and keep asking why. I'm not gonna get an answer to it. Um So with the money that we got here. We gotta try and increase our income or decrease our costs. We serve to the end. Let's have a look at the public order. Everywhere's a little bit shitty with us at the moment. So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with rebellions, probably. So this one's here is at minus six. That one there's at minus eleven, so we're probably gonna have to deal with them. They fixed that thing, right, where they, if you exempt a region from taxation, or it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually, um, reduce public order. They fixed that, right? Let me have a look. So. Yeah, they fixed that. That was so dumb. I don't know why. I don't know how that got past them. I'm glad they fixed that. That's good. We do need a lot more money. Public order in this province here should be fine. The sacking income will go away. The allegiance stuff should change. Should be fine. Public order here is bad. It's not that bad. Your ch current chance of rebellion is 2%, right? So if we have a look here, it should say 11%, right? Yeah, 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 okay. And our income has gone up. What did I do to increase my income? Maybe it was a trade agreement or something. I don't know. Moving on. So 
So, if what I'm seeing is true, they haven't really adjusted the auto resolve at all, which means you don't ever need to fight one of the siege battles, which are probably the most difficult ones to fight. Because as long as you bring enough force, you just, yeah, e or easily auto resolve them. We got loads of food now. We're at peace. Did they change it where if you put units into the city, do they gain public order? So it's at 10. Ready for battle. I don't, I don't get it. Why didn't... Whatever, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, I, c I might be able to, uh, to set up some more governors. What am I just trying to remember how to do it? Ten. So, uh, do you, you have to own the the region capital in order to do it. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So that one was done. This will give us extra supplies, extra public order. Um. Okay. Whatever. Yes, research fertile lands. <laughs> okay. So looking at this one here, yeah, it's just it's just a problem. We haven't had any revolts yet, but we're bound to get one eventually. Our foes will suffer. So this is under control now, no chance of revolt. That's repairing on its own. I don't have enough money to build anything. If I increase my taxes, uh, it's not enough for me to justify that. If I lowered taxes, nah, it doesn't help by enough. Need money in order to build these settlements up. Good, uh, this will be finishing soon, then I'll get me an extra build slot. Okay, there's not much else to do. I don't want to expand until these lands are under our control a bit more. The only thing I, I could think of in terms of expanding is just for looting. Does... No, no. I'm sure raid income is, like, still jack shit. We'll see this I don't see any reason why they would have changed that. It's funny. He's actually got the large army we'll there. It's fine. Moving on. Actually, I wonder if... No, no, don't disband it, because we, we got rebellions that we're going to have to deal with at some point. Okay, we've got two new levels up. Governor over here, he's got good amounts of loyalty, so give him scribe now. And this one, another governor who has fairly f poor loyalty. Let's give him another priest. extra food from there, but we're pretty good for food now. If we increase it further, it just helps with unit replenishment and supplies, but supplies are, shouldn't be a problem. As long as we don't go full down to here, it just shouldn't be a problem. Just trying to decide what's going to give us the most bang for our buck. And 
that doesn't seem bad. Right, I see. We could declare war on them again soon-ish. How's, how's the public order? Wrong thing. Okay, so minus nine, minus five, five, okay. So that's only 1% chance for revolt over here. I think there's that capital here. Minus 2%. Let's have a look at that. Let's see what I can do about it. Alright, so we got minus five production. I don't know if we really need that. I'm sure there's better buildings than this. I don't know. I'll just leave it be for the time being. I mean, it's only got a, a very small chance of revolt. And the allegiance... I don't know, we should be able to fix it up. Moving on. No agents that I can hire for, you know, managing public order. It's just the governors. Yeah, and that war gained a lot of minor cities, but we sort we consolidated two full provinces: the the one here and the one to the I don't know what it's called. Still no revolts. Not complaining, but that's surprising considering the public order was so bad. I just don't have enough money. Okay, so we got another building here that we could build. Uh, for this province here, we don't need public order. Public order is very much sorted because characters have got under control. So what we do here, we, we now play the childish game of, not childish game, but the child's game of color coordinating. We've got a purple building here. So let's see, what have we got here that might be purple? There's nothing. Church cross income from church. Well, that's I guess that's kind. Of, it's grayed out though. Um, we we do have. No, don't worry about that. I don't think we need extra garrison. Uh, income from port buildings. No, I mean we do we do have a port building. I don't know. Most of these don't seem very good. Minus 10% corruption. It's called a thing. But it has a, has, you know, has, it actually has upkeep. I might just leave that for the time being. Seems like the minor settlements are actually better to upgrade, just for the time being. Until we've, until they're more upgraded, these just don't really provide enough of a bonus, because since they upgraded. Oh, it's greyed out because... Oh, I don't know. So it provides a bit of extra food, a bit of extra money, not a whole lot though. That provides a decent amount of extra money. But for, like, the amount that you make out of it is pretty pitiful. I think they really... They really nerfed the amount of money you can make out of buildings to slow down the gameplay a lot. Definitely seems that way. None of these really seem worth it. I'm gonna go with that. Our foes shall fall. Yeah, this is nothing to do. around looking for stuff, there's just nothing to do. 
build one thing every two turns. Plenty of food now. My abilities have been boosted. I guess as these guys, you really gotta make your money through sacking. Alright. Kinda of willing to go back to war with them again. I just wanted a little bit of consolidation time. Let me just double check this again though. I mean we still got minus seven here. This is now sorted. That's not been fixed. Upgrading this, if we did this, it would it would provide a little bit of extra public order. I've got the food supplies for it. It costs 2,000, so I could definitely do that next turn. If I don't purchase anything this turn. Because, yeah, it would be good to make sure that there's not going to be any revolts here. Because if it happens, they just take these settlements and they're going to send armies all the way back down there. It's a pain in the ass. Also, while this is all going on, we are gaining technology. And, you know, that will certainly help. So, what else is there that might provide us with public order? Let's have a look in community. Alright, what do I have to do for that? It, I gotta... Hang on. Upgrade within the monastery chain or one of its unique variants. Monastery chain. Don't we have one here? Um, is that not it? Or maybe... Let me have a look. It's th that might be a unique one. I don't know. Church of St. Cuthbert. I noticed that, that we're still Christian, even though he should be pagan at this point. It seems. I don't know. Let's upgrade, upgrade within the monastery chain. But isn't, is that not it? Where's the monastery chain? Hmm, it's not very clear. I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, so this governor here, his loyalty is good, so we can chuck him in with... If we give him some zeal, it would be good for the public order. So that's with the bard. Alright, yeah, do that. Yeah, that helped to keep it under control. Good. Alright, so I'm not going to build anything this turn. Save the money up for the other building. Start building them up so I can fix up the public order. Because otherwise I just can't really justify going to war at, when there's risk of revolt. I know there's like a culture mechanic now, but it doesn't seem like I can do a whole lot to... to, um, do anything about it. Like, it's there, but it's like, it's just a passive thing. That's, I think that's a big problem with this game. So much of it is passive, you just don't do anything. Like, I don't have any edicts to try to increase our allegiance. I can build certain things, if get some extra slots. So yeah, if we have a look at that, yeah, it's it's mostly it's mostly our culture. I don't know why they call it allegiance. Ah, I, I, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Is is this is this the monastery brand? Because if it is, I'd probably want to build it here. I mean, I, d I really don't need this building here, and it does need public order. I know that that is providing one, but the other thing will provide two. Because I want to prepare that other tech line. Enemy blood will flow. 
We really do need... We do need this. How are we going here? Minus five. That's not that bad. Right, let's prepare for an attack here. We pledge your service. Foes shall fall. Ah, oh, shit, attrition. That's right, we'll still replenish. Cool, four turns, and then we get ourselves one public order. That certainly helps. So the merchant can provide us with 140 income at the cost of 30 food. Considering how much it costs, that seems shit. Bloody merchants. Um, I don't know. I'll just, just leave for the time being. I've spent most of my money. Oh, now it chooses to revolt. The only settlements that are safe are the, the major settlements. <laughs> what could we have possibly done to defend against that? Alright, um, this gives us extra influence, but loses him loyalty. But it's only for... No, I'm gonna go with this. You can rely on us. Attack! Hit on! Fucking ass muncher. Yeah, we don't want to cause any more public problems. Just occupy it. A little bit of damage, bit of repair. Okay, it's got a pretty large garrison here. We're going to need both armies for that. So why don't you come over here? Our income took a bit of a jump. Oh, okay. What's what's going on with this? So, it says here, estate's low. That means we've gained another estate somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't know how I gained another estate. Maybe it's because I destroyed that. I, I don't know. Um, this guy here doesn't have one. Oh, it's because we lost it and then regained it. I see, I see. Sorted. Okay, so that's been demolished. Now I want to build the church chain. This one here, because... See, I don't know... Where does it say monastery? Right? It doesn't say it anywhere. Or one of its unique variants. See, I don't know if it's this, or... I just don't know. I really think that's six turns, god damn it. We'll see this through. Eager for one. Right, I got no more money left for recruiting, really. That's fine, we don't have to do this right now. Let's move on. And you know what honestly, if this settlement here revolts, I might not I might just leave it. Because with one minor settlement, I can't maintain public order. Well, he does have a lot of influence at the moment, so I'm going to promote it. It's only for six turns. Oh, no, hell no. Gift blessing, whatever. Our foes shall fall. And the settlement here, it's much better for public order now. Enemy blood will flow. But yeah, like I said, he really needs to get over here. Glory awaits us. Alright, I want to hire some more troops in this army. It's not quite large enough. 
I don't want any more. Oh, I haven't got any. I haven't really got much availability. I guess the long axes will be fine. Grab that as well. We pledge our service. Eager and willing. We will bring fear. Wait a while. Okay, we're at an hour and a half, so I think we'll just end the turn here and end the episode there. Yes, yeah, there's nothing else to do. Alright, well, that's the end of this episode. Can't blame me if you're not enjoying it, because it's a bit dull, but whatever. Anyway, that's the end of this one, so like and subscribe, part two is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.